By saying this car looks the part of it. The Chinese are on a roll. First, it was Havala with the introduction of Jolion, then Cherry with the likes of Tigo 7 Pro and 8 Pro Max. The bike Beiji emerges as a formidable contender, promising a harmonious blend of style, performance, and innovation. Welcome to CarWise. A channel to help you choose your car wisely. In this video, I'm going to share with you the review of the bike Beijing X55. As I took the wheel of this crossover, I embarked on a short journey to uncover what sets it apart in an ever expanding sea of SUVs. From its captivating design to its advanced features and driving experience. Join me as I delve into the heart of this Chinese-made gem to determine if it's the vehicle of the future you've been waiting for. And as we do that, please subscribe our feature. I'll really appreciate it. The Beijing X55 boasts a sleek, modern design that's sure gonna catch your attention, Bafitu. The front fascia showcases a bold and prominent grille with a black dot finish, flanked by sharp LED headlights that not only enhance visibility but also add a touch of elegance to overall look. Honestly, if this car passes by and you don't turn your head with it, Anyway, moving along to the side, you'll notice a strong character lines that creates a sense of dynamism. The wheel arches are tastefully accented, housing alloy wheels that complete the vehicle's athletic appearance. The X55 ground clearance hints at its off-road capabilities, making it a versatile choice for urban and rural drivers alike. Even at the rear, the X55 continues to impress my feet. With the sleek LED tail lights, and a stylish rear spoiler and a touch of sophistication. This compact SUV truly stands out with its elegant design and attention to detail. Whether you are driving in the city streets or Mokasi, this exterior design is to make a lasting impression. Let's step inside and see what makes this cabin stand out. It's well crafted to fit. I can't lie to you. It's beautiful. The sporty red seats will immediately grab your attention. Because you can't help, this will be the first thing that you notice in this car. They are very well crafted and very comfy, I must say. You can call me old fish and my feet, but I like the buttons and the knobs. The simple center console and a sleek 10.25 infotainment system form a pleasant atmosphere. There's no Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, only Bluetooth. But you'll quickly forget about those once you realize that the seats are cooled and heated. Ambient interior lights and a simple information cluster that's easy on the eyes. The rear seats have plenty of space, rear air vents and one USB-A outlet. Some convenient features include panoramic sunroof, rain sensing wipers, climate control, Electronically operated tailgate. Bona fair. Bona fair, Ah, this is flexing, Buffett. I really like electronic tailgates, I must say. For safety, you get front dual airbags as well as curtain and side airbags, distraction control, 
anti-lock brakes, a tire pressure monitor, and electronic stability control. The Buck Beijing X55 is offered in three trim levels, the Dynamic, Elite, and Premium. They are all powered by 130 kilowatts with 305 Nm of torque, 1.5 liter, 4 cylinder turbo petrol engine that drives the front wheels via a 7 speed dual clutch automatic transmission. It does 0 to 100 km in 7.8 seconds with an average fuel consumption of 7.7 per 100 km. It starts at 394,900 rands and dropping out at 454,900 rands for this premium model. The bike Beijing X55 offers an impressive price point, my feet. It has rivals from established brands such as Toyota's Corolla Cross, Mazda CX3, Haval Julian, and Tigo 4 Pro, just to name but a few. Do you think the X55 has a chance to compete in this tough competition? Share your thoughts down below, my feet. It comes with a 5 year or 100,000 km warranty, but an optional 5 years or 60,000 km service plan, which I honestly think is short. The X55 is a stunning car, my feet. It demands attention with its unique and sporty design. It's also comfortable and punchy. And my favorite part about it is the impressive price point. However, I can't help but think about its longevity. We'll all have to keep eyes on these cars just to see how robust they truly are. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel for more car wise content to help you choose your car wisely.